Let's talk about Big Four exit opportunities. It's no secret that working at the Big Four is a great place to start and gain career experience right after becoming a CPA. But let's be honest, the long work hours and demanding work environment can take their toll. If you're working at Deloitte, PwC, Ernest Young, or KPMG, or even just considering joining one of these firms, you might already be thinking about what comes next. And if you're a CPA who's already made the leap, let us know in the comments what you're up to now. Fortunately, most accountants find better work-life balance, higher pay, and more career growth after leaving the big four. After a few years, accountants typically build up great skills, whether in audit, tax, advisory, or consulting, that position them well for roles offering improved work-life balance, increased pay, and career advancement. Take one recent example, an accountant started their career in audit in the fall of 2020 and left after their promotion to senior in 2022. They now work in an advisory role at a smaller firm with colleagues they genuinely enjoy working with. They increased their salary by 36% and are now almost fully remote, working remote 25 hours a week. Sounds like a win, right? So what are the exit opportunities? One of the most common career moves is into financial planning and analysis, or FP&A. If you're looking for a role that still uses your analytical skills, but comes with a more predictable schedule, FP&A could be great. People who make the switch to FP&A often mention that it's a great balance of challenge and lifestyle. The pay is usually competitive too, with many ex-Big Four professionals seeing salaries in the range of $90,000 to $120,000, depending on experience and location. However, as a Reddit user who made the switch to FP&A points out, don't assume that having accounting or audit experience means you automatically have the skills for an FP&A role. They recommend complementing your skills by learning financial modeling and SQL, both of which we offer courses on here at Wizdify, valid for NASBA CPE credits. We'll put the links below to check them out. We've actually got a full suite of courses, all earning NASBA CPE credits for accountants looking to transition out of public accounting, including business valuation, Python, real estate financial modeling, and more. Look for the link below this video to check them out. Private equity and investment banking are high stakes, high reward roles that appeal to many who enjoy the deal focused aspects of big four work, like transaction advisory or due diligence. These roles are highly competitive and are demanding, but the pay and exciting nature of the work make them worthwhile for many. Accountants can be well suited for them as YouTuber Brian June explained. Those individuals that have the accounting background, some of them having three to five years of accounting, be very strong candidates and strong bankers and their technical acumen and know things that some bankers that have always been bankers not know because they're used to giving that accounting responsibility out to the accounting firms that we hire as third parties. So long story short, I think if anything, having that accounting background is very good if you're considering a banking transition. Now, while accountants may know some things that bankers or MBAs don't, it's still advisable to brush up on modeling, valuation, and forecasting skills. Plug for our courses here at Wizdify on these topics, which earn CPE credits. Link below. Of course, no matter how skilled you are, these roles aren't easy to land as significant networking, typically not an accountant's strong suit, is required to get a foot in the door. Industry accounting is one of the most common exit opportunities for Big Four alumni. It offers a stable environment compared to public accounting focused on internal finance tasks like financial reporting, month-end close, and compliance within a single company. The attraction here is the improved work-life balance, generally more predictable hours, without the intense busy season and stress. Compensation is also competitive with roles like senior accountant, accounting manager, or controller, often ranging from $80,000 to $130,000. Many find that the combination of a balanced lifestyle, career growth, and good benefits makes industry accounting a solid choice. However, it's important to remember that your experience can vary greatly depending on the company. Some Big Four alumni feel instant relief after leaving the demanding pace of public accounting, while others feel that industry moves too slowly or that career paths aren't as clearly defined as they were at the Big Four. It's also possible to end up at a company with limited accounting talent or undergoing challenging times, such as M&A or restructuring, or just poor financial performance. So finding the right fit is crucial for long-term satisfaction in industry accounting. Many accountants also find their next move in consulting firms outside the big four, such as McKinsey, Bain, or BCG, or with specialized boutique firms. These roles build on your advisory experience and can be a great fit if you wanna solve a diverse range of business challenges. Management consulting allows you to work across various industries 
helping companies solve strategic and operational issues. It's a dynamic environment that requires problem-solving skills, adaptability, and the ability to tackle new and unfamiliar challenges. This constant variety keeps the work engaging, unlike the more routine aspects of accounting. Compensation in consulting is competitive, often exceeding that in industry accounting or even some corporate roles, with strong base salaries plus performance bonuses. For many, the key appeal is the mix of high earning potential, diverse project experience, and opportunities to transition into senior leadership positions down the line. However, it's important to note that consulting often comes with long hours and travel similar to public accounting. If you're ready for the challenge and thrive on solving complex business problems, consulting can be a fulfilling next step after the big four. The key is figuring out what's important to you. Is it work-life balance? Is it high compensation? Maybe it's variety or the chance to really make an impact at a company. Whatever it is, your experience at the big four sets you up for success in many different channels. If you're looking to enhance your skill set and position yourself for the next step, consider expanding your expertise through additional training. Remember, here at Wisdify, we offer a full suite of courses, including financial modeling, business valuation, Python for finance, and real estate financial modeling, all valid for NASBA CPE credits. These courses are specifically designed for accountants looking to transition out of public accounting and into roles like FP&A, private equity, or even industry accounting. Check out the link below to learn more. On that note, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button to help us out in the YouTube algorithm. And if you made the jump from the big four, let us know in the comments what you're up to now. Your story might inspire someone else.